All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for another Discord voice chat tutorial talking about how to permanently delete your Discord server because you're tired of managing it, your friends don't hang out there anymore, or it's full of griefers and people spamming all the time. Whatever the reason, it's actually not too difficult. So we're going to create a sample server real quick. Why don't you just create a Chupacabra test server? And all you got to do to delete the server is go up to the top menu here in the upper left, click on this little downward arrow and go to your server settings. Inside of your server settings, you will find an area down here called delete server. It's big, it's red, and it's a little bit intimidating if you think you might accidentally click it. But don't worry, if you actually want to delete a server, it's going to make you type out a really long name of your server in order to prove that you're really wanting to do that so you don't accidentally delete it and you have a chance to think, is this something that I really want to do? And once you click on that, it's almost instantaneous when it deletes the server itself and then you're hunky-dory and good to go. It's like it never even existed. And one thing I would mention before we go about deleting servers or removing yourself from a server that you joined is that anybody in the sidebar that you don't add to your friends list, you might not be able to talk to anymore, so make sure that you add them. Without adding them to your friends list, the only way that you can talk to people is if you have a shared server or multiple, depending on who that person is. This was a change that Discord made a while back to cut down on spamming, harassment, and general shenanigans that happen on the platform. So just keep that in mind. And if you have any questions or comments or you need help with anything, always feel free to drop those in the comment section below. I try to answer most, if not all, of the comments that end up on the channel, simply because I think that's good practice. Although if someone's spamming or being a butt, I tend to just delete or ban them and all of that stuff. And I also have a question for people out there in the audience. Do you or have you had to delete a server? And what was your reason? I'm just kind of purely curious because I tend to hoard servers, both ones that I've made for myself and other people, and also ones that I've joined. So I'm just a little bit curious. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got a couple more great videos here at the end of this video that you might want to check out that can help you learn how to do things like do Discord better, or maybe learn some other stuff. It would really be a great help to me if you clicked on some of those and had a look. And until next time, have a good one, everybody, and toodaloo.